Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can download and play uh, custom SNES ROM hacks. Okay, the first thing we need to do is find a ROM hack. So the website that I use is rom romhacking.net. If you know of a, another website, please post it in the comment uh, below. I'll be interested to see what sites you use. Um, on the left hand side, if we click on ROM hacks, and then you can search for ROM hacks here. So you can usually select Super Nintendo. I'm actually just going to search for, I'm going to show you Mario Kart R. So if you click on the game, and if you click on download, then you usually need to copy this here and paste it into there. Then you can download the file. I've already downloaded the file. So if we go into, see, so it comes in a zip file. So I've actually unzipped it and placed it here. We can see Mario Kart R. And we can see it's an, it's an IPS file. So what we need to do is, if you go into the README, because you'll need a ROM, um, and you need to pair it up with this IPS file. Uh, but if you go into the README, it usually tells me which ROM you, you want, because sometimes uh, ROMs are region or even version different. So here it says you need version 1 ROM which I have so if I come back here and if I just load the emulator I use SNES 9x and if I load game so under the ROM folder I actually have the Super Mario Kart U ROM so if we just open this we can see that this is the normal ROM so what we want to do to be able to play uh, Super Mario Kart R, the ROM folder here, we need to copy that IPS folder file into there. Right, so now the IPS file is in the same folder as the ROM file. So what we need to do now is we need to make the IPS the same name as your ROM file. So here we can see they've now got the same name. Um, the ROM has got a .smc file extension and the IPS has obviously got the IPS file extension. So now that we've done that, I need to close this down and need to go back and launch the application again. There, I can see that's worked straight away. Sometimes that doesn't work, so we, we need to do something else. Okay, so if that first method didn't work, we need to download um, an application called Luna IPS. I'm going to put a download link in the description of this video so you can download this program. So all we need to do is you need to download it, unzip it, then double click on the .exe, click on apply IPS patch. Now you need to select the IPS file that you downloaded. So it's in, so it's here under the ROMs folder. So just select that. Now it asks you to, for the ROM file. So the ROM file is in that same location as well. So if we just select that, it's now saying that it's successfully patched. So if we close down this application now, and if we go back to this folder, I actually paused the video and copied the original ROM file. Uh, we've now applied the IPS into that file. So now, again, if we load the emulator, it should work. Yep, there we go. We can see the different background. It looks good. Okay, there we go. Um, easy method of how to download, patch and run these SNES ROM hacks. If you have any questions or have any problems, please post it in a comment below and I'll help you out if you need help. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.